Hello, my name is Seppi, and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Sunday, February 17th, 2019. Yes, I just woke up in my very own bed because the last time we returned home after exploring yet another map. Yes, cat. Yes, I know. Thank you. Thank you for this happy, uh, welcoming and um, nice greeting ceremony at the start of the episode. I think our viewers will much appreciate it. I think they will really appreciate it that you are also contributing to this very episode. And um, yeah, so we returned. And now I like to start the next the next map. I like to start exploring the next map. But first I like to craft yet another image frame. I, I'm not quite sure. Do I have a frame left somewhere or do I need to craft a new one so that I can install the map? And then of course I have to grab the one of the existing maps to find the border of the sad map and start exploring the next map so that we can really really craft this a super large map in here we have nothing we don't even have a leather and that's sad. let's see let's see what we have in our storage building maybe something is in here yeah so weekend oh hi horse okay, horse um and no leather nothing 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 so I just assume I need to unfortunately kill a few more cows yeah I think I think that's what I need to do uh, yes I do have wheat so that I can breed them and kill them and um, yeah process them <laughs> oh man that's that's cruel that's really cruel yeah weekend weekend is nice but well it's it's winter time and currently I would like to do nothing else than just be outdoors maybe go skiing have fun in the mountains have fun in the snow or so but yeah it's it's it's, it's exam season it's it's really exam season and this is uh, problematic this is very is this leather Yes, two leather. Awesome, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, cow. Oh man, we have, we have so many cows. That's a little bit overwhelming. Yeah, it's uh, exam season. And um, as I said before in previous episodes, I do have way too many exams. And um, that's a little bit a little bit sad because then, yeah, other work still needs to be done. And this results in the fact that, okay, I have to stay longer at work to complete everything I, I like to complete and um, so things things um, need to complete it later on days are super long I of course also have to do other things at home like washing washing using the washing machine or cleaning my apartment and this result that the, the weekend is busy with all those other things and I think then okay uh, hmm, that's that's bad I, I like to be outdoors I like to to do stuff in the snow I like to go hiking I like to, to just have fun but no not possible not possible right now unfortunately so that's that's a little bit sad that's that's truly sad My parents are going skiing and um, yeah, I thought, oh man, they they are lucky. They are very lucky. I, I hope they will have beautiful weather and a lot of snow. I mean, currently the, the forecast looks like we we will have or they will have a lot of snow. And I, I was really, oh man, oh man, I wish I could also do the same thing. At least just drive to the Fichtel Mountains and go hiking there. But because I think there are still a lot of snow left. Unfortunately, as I said, yes, weekend, weekend is then busy with um, with things like 
like cleaning and so on. And um, this, no, this is not, this does not, this fits, this fits. Okay, cool. Look at that. That's awesome. It's beautiful. This really puts everything more into perspective. And um, yeah, I think I will grab now this center map and we will, maybe we'll just go up n north basically. Because there it's just a very, very short way to, to start exploring the next map. So let's let's grab you. Ow! Where are you coming from? Who let you in? Why are you in here? Uh, wasn't it bright enough here? That's, that's bad. That's that's very bad. Who? Ow! Ow! All right. Maybe, um, maybe I should at least fix my boots. Maybe I should fix my boots for the the next next part of the expedition. This could be a thing I I need to do. Uh, yeah. So this weekend, beautiful weather. At least I was out for a leisurely stroll. Hopefully today I will I'll manage to go outdoors and do some more exciting things outdoors um, as well to just take advantage of the good weather, to take advantage of the sunshine, to um, yeah, just 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 enjoy, just enjoy a little bit of winter because that, that's, as you know, my favorite season and I, I'm always sad when, when I can't do this. But there are also some good things. I mean, yes, it's busy, busy times, but my um, one paper, the the paper that was con uh, that had a minor revision, I finished this minor revision, and now I yeah I, I, I submit it again, and now I need to wait. So this thing is done. The other paper for the VR conference is done. So all the all the papers that. That had a deadline are now done, which which is super awesome. Which is, um, do I need something else? I have the map. I have paper, crafting table. Oh yes, I wanted to to fix the boots. I wanted to fix the boots just in case. Um, yeah, so that that's pretty cool. That's super awesome, and I'm. I'm happy. I'm I'm really happy that uh, this this is done. So at least some progress. Now I hope I can focus more on writing the thesis that this thing gets done. I mean I'm constantly talking about this thing, so I, I really like to to get it done. So this this would be awesome. This would be uh, really awesome. Um, yes, cat. Yes, I know. Then what else? Um. I, I do have the feeling that I do a lot of sports lately. Really, a lot of sports. Five, okay, this this is still projector, projection, feather falling, yeah. The boots are pretty awesome, so I'd like to, to save them, so let's repair them. All right, pretty nice. The other items are still in a decent shape, so I don't need to do something with them. And we can now venture out. We can now uh, venture out to Explore the next map and have fun. See more more exciting regions, parts of the world, and just just be happy. Just just enjoy this. This, this is super cool. Uh, what, what? Yes, I, I do have the feeling that I do too often sports. And so, I mean, I, I really enjoy it. it. It's it's really helpful. But um, I don't know. I, can yeah you you definitely can do much to, do too much sports, but I really start to, to notice again this uh, the, the feeling I, I had before as I was running every three times a week or so that once when when I just skip one one running session I, I get a little bit um, annoyed and stressed out and so on so. I think that this is back and th that's 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 good, and I I really enjoy this. I mean that this is, is uh, so awesome to 
to do all all those those sports things and um do do various activities i mean uh recently as i was climbing on uh, wednesday i talked to a friend and she is Oh, it's really sunset already? Oh yes, it's, it's sunset already. That's that's crazy. And um, she's thinking about participating in a in a triathlon. And I thought, well, I at least like to to join her in, in training for this event because hey, there there I can combine three different uh, activities. I I can do running. I can do cycling. This is. This, Ooh, hi. You scared me. You scared me a little friend. Um, sorry. Oh, yes. More of those guys. Some uh, slime balls. I, I think I will stay in the in the tower uh, and then the light in the lighthouse. I think that this is a good good spot where I can stay during the night. There there I'm safe. Don't have to uh, set up shop and do all the things. So that's good. Yeah, so um I mean, I, I still have to get my my bike to to this place where I currently live. It's currently stored at my parents. But while I really miss good places in this region for hiking or good places for running, especially um, running in the forest, because ooh, ow, there aren't there aren't many. Many forests around in, in, in the near vicinity, but this region is, is perfect for for cycling. So, I think I like to I like to um, do this. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is the fact of swimming. I mean, uh, I'm I'm not I rarely and by rarely mean almost never <laughs> do swimming. So. I'm not quite sure if I will if I if I really will survive this or how how this will work out. But um, yeah, I I think this is will be super cool to to just have fun with all those things to take part in this and um, and do all all those things especially as they are aside for for swimming well of course in the summer you can do swimming outdoors but right now in, in uh winter time and spring cycling and um running would be outdoors which which is super nice i mean that that's the thing i, I like to do all the time running outdoors May, maybe i managed to do some running today I, i'm not quite sure i haven't decided yet what what i will do today the the only focus is it needs to be outdoors. It needs to be in the sun. This is also this is also a thing that is a little bit depressing with uh, my work and so on, especially the, the second day of the examinations. So Wednesday, we we had to close the shades in the in the, in the room, and I thought. Oh man, we do have sunshine outdoors, and the only thing we do is to block the sun from shining into our room. So this was this was sad. This was very much sad. But um, yeah, it had to be done. Unfortunately, still, I I I, I really like seeing the sun again it, it feels good and that, that's also what I did between the the different exams I, I just uh, went out in front of the room and uh, stood in the sun to just enjoy it I mean yes I, I I'm not a huge fan of the sun during the summertime but in winter it feels it feels really good that that's that's super weird during winter time I I'm super happy I really like to be out in the sun and um, during summer I I just hope that the sun will vanish behind clouds or so because it's way too warm. But yeah, that that's that's who I am. That's that's how I am. And um, yeah, so so cool. Also, this weekend, I finally decided. Okay, 
I played Estronier as it was released as an early access version. I had a lot of fun playing that game and it was really awesome. But, um, but then after having explored all the planets, I thought, okay, now it's a perfect time to, to stop playing the game before I burn out on it, before I play it too much, before I um, lose interest in it. And now it's it's uh, released. It's it's in the full release version. And so I am back with Estonia. I'm back with Estonia and I'm super happy about this. It's, it's a fun game. It's a great game. I'm I'm really having a blast. Yes, I know it's 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 also an interactivity playing computer games, doing let's plays and so on. But um, yeah, it's it's also one of my hobbies, and it's a it's a hobby where I can uh, recover a little bit from those stressful days, twelve hour days at work that you that just wear you out. They they really wear you out, and you think, okay, um, I'm just tired, and I I, I spoke about this being tired last time already so yeah that's that's what's going on right now concerning being outdoors and so on i'm not quite sure Th this is really a, a weird or difficult thing basically I do have this, if, if you watch sometimes some adventure movies about mountaineering or if, you, if you've if you been to certain hiking areas, certain outer areas or so, where they have some basically base camps and then they, they go out and do stuff outdoors. I mean, th th that's the thing where I frequently think about uh, this from time to time. I wish I, I would be out there and just just be all the time out in the nature. I'm, I'm sure it, it wouldn't be as good, as nicely paid as what I do right now or so, but I think it could be really a rewarding thing just just being every time, every day out in this amazing nature. I just imagine a base camp in the... Uh, Himalayan mountains or so and you have this, this beautiful scenery around you or so so yeah I, I don't know I'm I, I think this is this is some kind of wishful thinking that this would be a perfect thing because it's outdoors it's um, nice environment and you wake up and you are out in the in the mountain in the nature and I, I currently uh, and, and and you're having fun with with other hikers, other people, other other adventurers. You talk with them. You maybe set out to um, do some expedition or so. But may, maybe it's it's just just a thing that should remain a dream or so because I think. Maybe it might be. Maybe it might be the best job in the world or so. But maybe it's also the thing where I think it's it's very physically demanding. And um, maybe if, if you have bad weather and you're stuck in there or so. I'm not quite sure. On the one hand, I, I really like to be such a person. Just, just be outdoors every time and guide tourists through mountains or so and have fun doing this process but on the other hand um yeah i i don't know maybe maybe it's a dream that should not come true because um in the end it's, it's completely different right now it, it really seems it feels it, the the thought seems to be like the hey this would be super awesome as, as i as i just said and once you really decide, okay, let's let's do such a life. Let's try to live by uh, managing a base camp or so. You might realize, okay, it's not as fun as I thought, and this this can maybe ruin everything or so. So I I don't know. I don't know. It's it's just what what I I thought about this and. Um, 
where sometimes, especially with this, as I said, doing doing climbing right now, and this also have, has often a little bit the feeling they are they're just other climbing interested people around you. I mean that that's quite obvious when you when you're in a when you're in, in a in a in a large a large room in front of a climbing wall or so and sure they're they're just other people who enjoy who enjoy climbing that they will be there. I mean that, that's not a surprise but it, it gives this uh, a very interesting flair, a flair of like minded people and Sure, I do have also like-minded people at work. I mean, we all do this human computer and action stuff, but more than often I ask myself, why actually am I researching virtual reality? Why? I mean, it's 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 nice. It's it's a nice feature. From time to time it's it's fun to just put on the Head mount a display and um, explore a virtual environment, but more than often I, I think, okay, that's cool that this exists, <laughs> but I don't really know what, why, why am I, why am I involved in, in this situation? How how has this happened? What what has caused me to to be in this in this situation? And um, yeah, may maybe it's uh, maybe it's also a thing I, I talked about with a friend of mine already that I might need to break. It's it's really about time to finish this stupid PhD, and then maybe be one month out at such a base camp, hiking camp, whatever. Do be out in the nature just just to do something something without science without virtual reality without what I'm currently doing to find myself again to to know what what I enjoy and maybe to come up with with different ideas what what I can do in my life so I, I don't know it's it's just it's just a weird weird thought weird feeling weird situation and um I mean, especially right now, I, I feel with the, with those exams and the thought, hey, I, I like to be outdoors. I, I just feel feel stressed because, I don't know, it's things I can do right now and I wish I could. But with, with all the other tasks that aren't completed during the week, I have to do them on the weekend so I don't have time to spend a weekend away or so. and. All in all, it's it's just chaotic, and yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know. It's hi. No, 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 no. Please, please, please leave me alone, <laughs> please, please leave me alone. Are they up? Ha ha. All right. Uh, don't run. Let's let's try to find a safe spot, a safe spot where I can stay. It it was once again a very very thoughtful episode, a very re reflective episode, thinking about all the things going on and I don't know, it's, it's, I think it will be, uh, it feels right now like, like an endless struggle and yeah, I, I don't know, I, I don't want to, to be all the time like this, I also want to talk about fun things, great things that, that happened, that I really enjoyed, but more than often right now it's, it's like, okay, so, so many things happen and they they just wear me out and then of course uh, ooh, there seems to be lava there's, ugh, there's there's some forest fire going on apparently this, this is not bad this is bad it's actually very bad oh dear the, the fire starts to spread out i think we should we should just go to bed and continue next time so i hope you enjoyed this very episode and hope you will be joining me next time thank you so much for watching until then my name is zebby See you.